On today's episode of SEO Lunch, that Google Panda has been uh, again attacking everybody's WordPress powered website. Find out how you can structure your content to combat the foul beast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan. And SEO Lunch is your weekly look at the latest and greatest inbound marketing tips, search engine optimization tricks, and other elements to help you and your WordPress website. Uh, today, folks, this episode of SEO Lunch is brought to you by our Slocum Themes page and our wonderful Modern Business Pro theme. Perfect for any business owner, small business, big business, whatever it might be. We have great hero spaces, call to action widget areas, and more. Check it out at slocumthemes.com. So what we're talking about today actually ties into an article I posted about a, a week or two ago about uh, the new Google Panda update. So Google Panda 4.0 came out. And I want to really talk specifically about how it is affecting your website and what you can do to change that. But before I do that, I really actually want to stress, is it affecting your website? A lot of people freak out. There's a new Google Panda update. And you know, has it affected my website? Or people just start jumping and start changing their content. But here's the thing, if you're already in the clear, if you already have, um, you know, you're good practicing good SEO, you've got good articles, maybe you're improving. Maybe Google 4.0 is good, uh, Google Panda 4.0 is good for you. So here's how you check it out. You're gonna wanna log into your Google Analytics profile. And from your Google Analytics profile, you're gonna wanna take a look at your session hits, your page views, things like that, around the end of May, 2014. If they start dropping like a rock, there's clearly something wrong with your content that needs to be changed. And it's more than likely that Google, unless you did some major technical change to your website at that time, it's more than likely that Google Panda 4.0 had something to do with it. Alternatively, there's also the possibility that your you know, statistics are staying the same or they're increasing because we've seen that as well with clients that statistics are actually increasing after the Panda update. If that's the case, stop, continue doing what you're doing. There's no need to change anything because it's already working out for you. You're already practicing good content. You're already looking at long content. So you're already creating a post that's at least 500 words long or so. Um, we've heard reports with this new update that you want your posts to be at least 300 to 500 words long, I'd say on the longer side. And we've talked before about you know having long form content and what's called quality content uh, from Google. Um, so that's how you check it out. But let's say that you just checked out your Google Analytics, you hit pause. You went to your Google Analytics account and found out that, in fact, you need help. Let's talk about some of the things you can do to change that on your WordPress website. So the first thing we're going to look at is um, what's called syndicated content or copied content. Uh, if you remember in school when you used to plagiarize, or maybe, I know, y'all did it, uh, you would copy content from somebody else and hopefully you didn't get caught. Well, with Google Panda 4.0, consider yourself caught. Um, Panda's doing a much better job now of catching people who are taking content from other sites. It could even be you taking content from another one of your own sites. Just make sure that if you're copying large chunks of content, large amounts of sentences from other sites, that you're giving credit where credit is due. That you're actually saying, um, using the tag rel equals canonical or the attribute rel equals canonical on that link and on the article. That way Google knows that though you have this wonderful article, the original source of that article was this other this other place. Uh, you can actually use a great tool here um, called WordPress SEO by Yoast, and I'll pull it up on the screen here um, to do this. And what you'll be able to do is in the advanced settings section, assuming you're an administrative user on your WordPress profile, you'll be able to set the rel equals canonical of that, of that article. This also protects you if somebody else with better page authority than you have goes in and tries to use your content because it's possible that they could steal it and be considered the true pioneers of that content. So you really want to be careful um, when you post and continue using that rel equals canonical tab, it's a good idea. That's step one. Providing quality content is the next step. And, and that I, I talked a little bit about it already with increasing the length of your posts in WordPress. So from 300 characters, probably more to 500 or, or up above from, you know, to a thousand or whatever it might be. That's always a good idea. And you can actually see the word count when you're uh, creating a poster page at the bottom left corner, right? When you're editing your content. So you can always keep tabs on how many words you're using. That doesn't mean use words just to use words, but make sure that if you, you know, let's say you've used 250 words to explain something, maybe there's something else you can add to that article that's similar, that uses the similar keywords that you can add to make it a more a qualitative article, if you will, from Google, from Google's term. Unfortunately, 
it would be really nice if Google had millions of people high, you know, employed at Google who could look through all of the articles in the world and determine if they are good or not. But that's never going to be the case. So they have to use methodology like this. You know, is the, the, the content really qualitative? So have they spent some time on it? And one of the best ways to do that is with length of content. Another great way to do that is with keywords. So you definitely want to take a look at those keywords. Um, and again, using that WordPress SEO by Yoast um, tool I just talked about a little bit earlier, you can go in and you can focus a keyword. So basically say, okay, this is the, the keyword that I want to focus for and go from there. You're also going to want to go in your Google Webmasters account though, or Google AdWords, and you're going to want to take a look at what keywords are trending. So in your field, what keywords that you know you want to rank for. And then you also want to take a look at your webmasters because that's going to tell you what keywords your site is currently trending for. If you're trending for keywords that you don't want to, we've had clients we've dealt with in the past who they thought that, you know, in our case, we're a WordPress theme shop, so we'd want our webmasters to be WordPress themes. But what would be the case if, for example, the number one word was blog, the number one thing we wanted to trend for? We want to audit our existing content and start creating new content that uses the keywords WordPress and themes a little bit more in our case. Um, and and this, is, this is different for every business. So if you go on your webmasters and it says, let's say you're a pizza company, or you sell pizza sauce, and the first keyword is pizza, and the next word is sauce. That's great. Cool. You're off the hook. But let's say it's, I don't know, uh, Italian or, or something else, and you want it to be pizza sauce, you're going to want to go for your content, and you're going to want to make sure that that is what you are ranking for right there, which is really, really nice. Uh, really nice that Google provides that tool and that's right within webmasters. Uh, the next thing you want to do, especially as a WordPress user, um, is that you want to go into your WordPress themes and you want to make sure that they're clean. So, um, make sure they use practice good H1, H2 tag, um, practices and make sure that they are clean, clean themes. Our themes are clean. Um, like our modern business pro theme, uh, which you can find at slocumthemes.com slash WordPress themes. Um, a theme that is light, uh, does not have a huge page load time because Google's also cracking down on page load speed. So if, you're, if your site is taking seconds and seconds and seconds to load, it's not going to be favored as heavily as a site that loads in a snap. So that's kind of an overview of some of the things that have affected um, websites with Google Panda 4.0. Um, if you have any comments or questions, something I forgot to mention from the update, or you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. For more of this great content for SEO Lunch and our other series like Press This, subscribe right over there. Press on the big old red subscribe button. Um, and of course, contact us at slocumthemes.com slash contact. Thank you so much.